I also noticed a story about where you got the chance to sign the darkness, which is quite a funny one. Well, I'll tell you what happened. It was like, I uh, I got, you know, Ian, who worked for Pop Tones, worked for me, right? Uh, he came to me and he went, McGee, I just need you to say yes. <laughs> and I said, what am I saying yes to? And he went, the darkness. And I went, okay, who are the darkness? And he went, the less band, they've got 15 pages coming up and dazed and confused. They've got the front page. <laughs> we just, just put it out. I guarantee it's going to sell. And, it, and here's the song that they've got called, what is it, something, something called Love, or whatever, whatever the fucking hit is, right? <laughs> yeah. And I went, a little thing called Love, isn't that something, is that Queen? Anyway, some, one of these kind of songs. And I put it on, right? And it was for 25 seconds. It was like ACDC. And I thought, this is good, right? This is fucking good. Um, and then suddenly Justin Hawkins comes in and goes, <laughs> and I was like, fucking hell. And I was like, and I was thinking, Ian's right, it's probably going to sell. But I don't know. I mean, I found the Mary Chain, Oasis. I found all these fucking amazing bands. Can I really do the darkness? It seems a bit of a joke to me. So I phoned Gillespie up and I went, I wanted to play you something. Tell me what you think. So it was like ACDC, so he was quiet. And then when the boys came in, he went, whoa, oh, oh, that. He laughed and I went, fuck that, I can't put it out. So we, never, <laughs> we, never put it, we never put it out. And then it sold four million. And I, do you know what, boys? I should have put it out. That's the truth. I should, I should have just taken the money. <laughs> 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 I love Bobby Gillespie just laughing, laughing on like, the phone. He was like, when the guy started singing. And I thought, I can't do it. Because at that point, and this is 20 years ago, I mean, I had such, such a run of fucking amazing bands. I hadn't even got to Libertines at that point. And I just thought, I can't fucking spoil the fucking thing <laughs> in the line of greatness that I'm fucking plowing at the moment. You know what I mean? You know? <laughs>